YouTube is committing suicide by forcing subscribers and content producers to have a link to a Google Plus page, whether we want Google Plus pages or not. For one thing, Google is a data mining company. They collect your personal information. They, on their terms of service in their privacy section, they outright say that they use global positioning units on cell phones to find out exactly where you are. That's why they're trying to force people to have cell phone numbers listed with them before people can upload videos more than 15 minutes, before people can have thumbnail photos on their videos. When the videos are sent out, it has a cute picture with the name of the episode and stuff like that. You have to have a cell phone associated with your YouTube account in order to have those features. I'm constantly nagged by YouTube already to give them a mobile phone number that I can't afford and I don't want them to have access to. I don't want them to know where I am. Also, and if you think I'm being paranoid, in their privacy settings, it says that if they don't have a cell phone number, they're going to check your Wi-Fi and stuff and the device on which you are interacting with the internet in order to globally position you and know exactly where you are. I don't want people to know where I am. I'm extremely low income and I'm rural and I was stalked on another one of my YouTube channels that I now no longer use because I'm that worried about the stalker finding out who I am and where I live. So YouTube and Google, Google has no commitment whatsoever to the privacy of either the viewers or the content producers. Here's the other thing, comment sections. Oh, it's supposed to be so much better now because you can filter who comments on your videos and so on and so forth. Unlimited character space. People are using ASCII where you can type, you use your keyboard to make pictures and people are posting obscene pictures in comments. People can also now post links in comments with some sort of provocative text that indicates if you follow this link, you'll have access to pornography. Who knows where the link sends you? Obviously, it's not going to send you to the pornography that you so dearly want to see. But what it can send you to is viruses and trojans and worms that can destroy your computer. Now, on gaming channels, a lot of children watch gaming channels and they're being sent to links that are doing what to their computers? Or sitting on the computer accessing passwords every time you type one in. Passwords to things like your bank, your credit cards, stuff like that. And why are they doing this? Because YouTube was bought by Google and Google has absorbed it and Google is trying to force people on to Google+. If people wanted to be on Google+, they would be on Google+, voluntarily. People don't want to be on Google+. And rather than letting us make mature, intelligent choices about where we spend our time on the internet, YouTube, Google has now said, no, we're, you, you can't comment on videos you can't participate in YouTube until you have a Google Plus account the subscribers on my videos have gone down from about 50 per video to my last video had 19 views because most of my subscribers don't have Google Plus accounts so the reason YouTube is committing suicide Google well no, Google can't commit suicide People are not going to participate anymore. Did you know that these, I'm not a paid channel. Google does not pay me to produce content. I won't let them. In fact, I've got my, I had my settings so that ads couldn't appear on my videos. I don't know whether they're still like that or not. I haven't checked and I have Adblock Plus so I don't have to look at ads on videos. But I haven't allowed ads on videos and I don't want to be in partnership with Google uh, for monetary gain. You get so many views, you get so much money kind of thing. I don't want to do that because I want to be able to control my content and not have some big boss tell me how I can produce videos and what I can say and do. So I haven't participated in that. Did you know that these content producers that you love so much, all the people on Minecraft, all the big YouTube video game people that make a living on YouTube, did you know that YouTube Google is taking 45% of all the income they generate? That's almost half, just under half the income. That's how much rent people have to pay to produce their videos on YouTube and get paid for them. Nobody else has a percentage rate that high of content that we produce for YouTube. So instead of treating us with respect as content producers, they're treating us like livestock, something that you, a cow that you take to slaughter for the meat and the leather. And they're not leaving us enough meat, those of us who opt into being paid by YouTube. People are beginning to plan their escape. 
I can't recommend the guy's channel because he cusses a lot and his content is rather adult, but I'll tell you what, he just produced a video in which he talked about how upset he is about what's happened here, about the fact that now not only can people anonymously comment, they can do it with endless number of characters, they can do it with obscene graphics in those characters, they can do it with dangerous links, they can do it, they can still do it completely anonymously. Oh, you can't comment unless you use your real name. Look on my Google Plus page. Do you think my real legal last my real legal name is Granny Gamer One? YouTube and Google think it is. So you can do it totally anonymously. He's upset about the racism, the hideous things people say about people who aren't like them. I'm considered I'm con I'm concerned about all that, the racism, the horrible things people say about females, um, LGBT people, people with disabilities, anybody who's not like them. It's open season. Hateful, horrible things, telling people to kill themselves. Telling people they're going to come after them and hurt them, like has happened to me. So YouTube has really committed suicide. YouTube's about eight years old now, and I don't think it's going to survive another eight years because I'll bet you the major content producers are going to fi finally create an alternative to YouTube. Now, the reason people have given for an excuse not to have done that before is, oh, well, YouTube shows up in the Google search engine. Google didn't used to be the big search engine, you know. There used to be a lot more of them, and they're still out there. And some of them are anonymous. When you go to Google and uh, type in an internet search, Google keeps a log of that. You go to other ones like GoDuckGo, GoDuckGo. And they use uh, YouTube search engine functions, but they make sure that your IP address and any identifying information about you is kept anonymous in a proxy server so that your privacy isn't abused. So you can look up anything you want. There are times when I need to look up stuff that maybe the National Security Administration or somebody might consider to be potentially subversive, might decide that I'm a terrorist because I looked up, oh, I don't know, how plutonium works, because I'm interested in science. And they might decide that I'm a terrorist planning to plant a dirty bomb, a nuclear weapon, because that's the way they interpret things. The minute you say something like that, it's out there. That's the way they brand you. You're a potential threat. I'm no threat to anybody. So associate it with a different search engine. Build a different infrastructure that's anonymous, where people's information isn't necessarily revealed. In fact, it intentionally is not revealed. Because you're putting people's lives in danger. You think that you're filtering out um, negative comments. You are not. What you are doing is you are giving people a direct link to an email address, geographical location, gender, age, Birth date? I don't want people knowing my birth date. They can go apply for a credit card in my name with my birth date. I don't want them knowing that information. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know this big gaming channel guy, he's already planning his escape, diversifying and going out into other things like building his own games and stuff to sell on Steam. I've lost most of my subscribers overnight. I've lost my privacy overnight. I've lost my ability to control who comes into my channel and what they do there overnight. I've lost my ability to protect my subscribers from being exposed to viruses, trojans, pornography, obscenity, hate, overnight. I imagine there's a lot of this conversation. You know, I've lost a lot of friends because I had to close that other channel and couldn't keep in touch with those people. And I imagine that there is a tremendous conversation about what are we going to do to get out from under Google, who has stolen YouTube and destroyed it. Thank you for watching.